As we kick off the new year, there's never been more energy, if you'll pardon the pun, around the fast-growing electric vehicle segment. And with trucks as perennial best sellers, there's no question that they're gonna be a huge storyline this year. So it's exciting to start 2022 with the first ever electric pickup from Chevrolet, the Silverado EV. But before we dive in, I wanna remind you to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel. And you can find us all over social media at the handle at MotorOne.com. Hey guys, I'm here with Nicole Kratz, Chief Engineer for Silverado, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the, uh, what makes the Silverado EV go. So let's start by talking about the batteries and the motor, right? Yeah, so the um, Silverado EV is built on our Ultium um, platform, and that has a 24 module battery that um, offers up to 400 miles of range on a full charge. And I know that the, the charging rate is also something that you guys are pretty proud of too. It's 350 kilowatts. Yep, so 350 kilowatt DC fast charge. It offers us um, 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. So it gets the customers cool. on the go pretty quickly. And what does that mean for driving? So we're, we're talking about front and rear motors, at least on this RST model. That's right. Um, how we, do we have some guesses about acceleration? Oh yeah, so we have um, up to uh, 664 horsepower, 780 foot-pounds of torque, which gives us a zero to 60 time in under four and a half seconds with our wide open watts mode. That's a pretty quick truck. <laughs> it is, it's amazing. Very cool. And then of course it is a truck, right? So uh, theoretically we need to tow and haul stuff. So, so what are we doing uh, from a numbers perspective there? Yeah, so the Silverado has to be, um, you know, true to its nameplate that customers are used to performance, capability, durability. The Silverado EV offers up to uh, 10,000 pounds of towing capability. Um, and the, uh, we have future models that are going to be available that actually are going to offer up to 20,000 pounds of towing capability. Wow. And with our rear steer that's in our chassis, we think that there's going to be some really great trailering dynamics that come along with that towing capability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some cool conversations earlier about the rear steer. That's going to not only make the vehicle handle better around parking lots and, and just as a day-to-day -day vehicle, but it's going to make you promise that it'll make it easier for me to back a boat into the water, right? Absolutely. Um, rear steer offers the total uh, flexibility in terms of tight corners, steering through parking structures, tight parking spots, but also it's working at higher speeds as well. So okay. not just backing up your trailer, but also just driving down the road. The dynamics of uh, towing a trailer are going to be that much more improved with rear steer. Let's talk a little bit more about the, um, the charging abilities. You don't just charge this truck up, the truck can also charge up other vehicles, right. right? And other devices, it seems. That's right. So we've got um, off-board power capabilities of up to 10.2 kilowatts. There are 10 outlets in total available for customers to charge their devices at a campsite, job site, um, charge up your home. And then also the Silverado offers um, through the charge port being able to charge another vehicle. Uh, we can set how much charge we want to return home from the um, truck itself. So whether it's a percent battery or a range, the Silverado can give its battery charge to another vehicle, but still get home or to wherever its next destination is. Let's talk a little bit about the multi-flex mid-gate and the multi-flex tailgate. So starting with the mid-gate, that seems to be kind of a game changer. For you. Yeah, I mean, we completely reimagined what a pickup truck can be when we were able to um, build from the ground up an all new architecture for our pickup truck. And so the Silverado EV is offering the multi-flex tailgate and also has a multi-flex mid-gate. And with our multi-flex mid-gate, there's several positions that the mid-gate can allow you to basically have a lot of versatility in the cargo and the type of cargo that you can carry. There's a 60-40 split in the mid-gate that allows you to still carry a rear passenger, which we think is a real opportunity for our customers. And with the tunnel cover on, you can protect the cargo that you're taking from the, the pickup bed up through into the cabin. There's up to um, nine feet of storage when mm -hmm. the tailgate is up and the midgate is down, so you can slide some really long objects through there. And then with the uh, load stop up, you can have up to 10 feet, 10 inches of cargo um, carrying capability. Very cool. And what I was really impressed with was the fact that, again, the entire midgate folds down, right? So it's not That's just right. not just the bed bed height, but you can put the entire glass too. So yeah, so we didn't through. stop at the pass-through. You know, it was one of those things where we started to talk about how we can get more cargo carrying capability for our customers. But when we were um, through designing the 60-40 split on the pass-through portion of mm -hmm. the mid-gate, we decided to not stop there. And so the glass actually um, comes out and is stored in the back of the mid-gate. The entire mid-gate can go down and it leaves the entire cab open in the back for taller um, objects and cargo that you want to carry. Very cool. We give a free pass to anyone unable to tell the Ford F-150 Lightning apart from its gas-drinking sibling, but Chevy put some serious effort into making the Silverado EV entirely different from its conventional trucks. In fact, 
This vehicle is new from the ground up and it shows. The front fascia reflects this with a huge light bar that connects the Blazer-esque running lights, while an illuminated bow tie and minimal air takes are also EV specific. There's also a big frunk area, which would seem to fit a ton of stuff, though we're told this one isn't exactly to production spec. The side profile gives off major avalanche reincarnated vibes, thanks to that strong C-pillar design, which is far from a bad thing. The RST model shown here also has giant 24 inch wheels, and that's a first for any production vehicle. From the back, the Silverado EV looks most like a normal truck, with several GM signature bits like the side steps in the rear bumper and the multi-function tailgate. If you're unsure of what's in front of you in traffic, check the logo for the electric blue E, which is a dead giveaway. Although white probably isn't the best color for a truck owner who plans to use this thing out in the real world, the design aesthetic here is very cool and very traditional full-size truck. There is a refreshing lack of buttons on the center stack with a large 17-inch free-form display front and center aided by an 11-inch digital cluster. Chevy hasn't thrown the baby out with the bathwater though and retained physical knobs and switches for things like stereo volume and climate control. Look closer at the driver-facing dash and you'll also see the indicator lights for the Super Cruise system, which comes standard on the fully loaded RST. All right, so let's talk about how to actually put one of these in our garage, right? Yeah. There's gonna, this is gonna be an event-based rollout. When can the first people uh, raise their hands for a uh, Silverado EV? So on January 5th, uh, Mary Bear will be revealing our Silverado EV, and at one o'clock Eastern time, um, the reservation system opens and people can go ahead and reserve their RST. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a big drop, right? You've gotta get in at the right time. Yes, absolutely, get on there quickly. Okay, and then uh, talk a little bit about the rollout as we move forward through 2023 of, of sort of Silverado EV work truck all the way through the top end. Yeah, so we're gonna launch our work truck first in the spring of 2023. Um, the RST is gonna be launching in um, fall of 2023. That's the reservation system that everyone can go into and reserve that pickup truck. Mm -hmm. That truck is available for $105,000. And in the future, after those um, orders fill, we're gonna be offering um, reservations for future models that range in price from $39,900 all the way through the $105,000 fully loaded RST with 400 miles of range. Gotcha. Lots of different trucks for lots of different customers. That's right. right. That's the versatility that we're offering in the Silverado EV. Cool. Nicole, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, you can find out a lot more about the Chevy Silverado EV at MotorOne.com.